What's up, Collider TV Talks fans? Josh McCougar here with the one and only Roxy Stryer. You guys know us from Collider Live and from all over the place, I guess. Who knows? Yeah. You've seen us doing bunches of things on the internet. Ruling the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, today is the Wednesday before the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Wednesday, and, and we are not. We don't have an episode next week because Roxy's going to be at home enjoying Way some turkey. Way to blame it on me. No. Well, I mean. The studio's closed on Wednesday. It is not. It is so. It is? We're not doing Collider Live that day, so. Really? Yeah. Who knew? I did not know this. Hmm. Well, nobody tells me anything around here. But anyway, so uh, Roxy and I will not be here next week for your hypothetical questions, your what ifs with Ro- Roxy and Josh, with your hypothetical questions with Roxy and Josh. We're working on like nine separate titles here on the show, Rocks correct? on Josh's box. Rocks on Josh's box. I, I need a Josh's box kind of a thing. Like and a soapbox, TV box. Yeah. Like I'm the town crier standing on my soapbox preaching about television. Hear ye, hear ye, Remsen. <laughs> ye must watch Peaky Blinders, Remsen. He's not actually back there. Uh, so I don't watch that show. Is it good? Peaky Blinders? Yeah. You don't watch Peaky Blinders? No. Have we not been over this before? No. It's one of the best shows in TV history. Wow, you're supposed to recommend me things. What happened? I've Friendship. told you about oh. Peaky Blinders many times. Like I'm a telling lot you of this times. is the first time it's ever come up. Are you calling me a non-listener? I'm calling you a liar. Oh. Straight up. <laughs> That's a you, little worse. <laughs> you are a liar. I tried to make it better, a non-listener. No, you're a liar. A <laughs> liar. <laughs> you listened to me Blasphemy. and then you lied. Yes, yeah. Yeah, well. Uh, okay. Next, okay, I've given you two shows to watch. Peaky Blinders. And? I think that's it. Yeah, what was the second one? I was going to tell you. I feel like I I forced you to see um, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, and then you got me into American Vandal, too. There I go. Okay, so. There I go. There, there I, go. I go again. On the road. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Uh, you need to watch Peaky Blinders because you love it. It's four seasons. Tom Hardy's in a couple of the seasons. He's awesome. Killian Murphy's the lead of it. It's about a Birmingham gypsy gang in Birmingham, England, post World War One, before World War Two. Mm, at least awesome. I know this isn't a truffle pumpers kind of thing. It's not. It's real. Which I and want. And if still. you, if you, because uh, it, I think it airs on the BBC first, and then Netflix picks it up. But this is even one of those shows where I started watching it, and the missus was like. I don't know about this. Oh, I love this show. She freaked out for Peaky Blinders. So uh, it's awesome. And I have a whole Peaky Blinders outfit that I've worn for many like a holiday party and or or. Do people know you're dressed in character? No, they have no idea. Hmm. No idea. Speaking of characters. Speaking of characters. Was that good? Ooh, that's that best one what yet. we call a transition in the industry. Segway. Today's what if, today's hypothetical question with Josh and Roxy is what if you hosted a TV Thanksgiving? Okay, mm-hmm. so we've set some parameters. We we sat around a lunch table, uh, which is fitting as it was a meal. Well, I guess I've never thought of a lunch table. I think of school lunch tables. Like yeah. it was a table which we had lunch. Correct, and it's a restaurant that also serves dinner. It's not just a lunch, lunch table. table. Yes, it's a multi-purpose food table. Correct, but for our purposes, it was we ate lunch there. It was a lunch table. A lunch table. So we thought. If you hosted a TV Thanksgiving. Which, by the way, would be the most epic thing because I host Thanksgiving anyway. So right. if I could do it with TV people, uh, yeah. Right. I mean, I love my family, but. <laughs> Screw them. None of them are invited. <laughs> Not one person. They would embarrass us. That's terrible. So we thought it would be us two and eight other total people. So Josh and I yes. are hosting a Thanksgiving dinner with 10 people, the two of us being two of them and eight more. Do you know what we should have put on here? Where are we going to host it? Like, well, we'll do we talk host about it? Okay, it's so, not too late. We're that's we're true. literally two minutes in. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm just I'm putting it on there. Just okay. We also ha- can talk about what we're serving. That's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, true. so we we thought eight the eight total people that you can invite. You need a TV mom and dad, but they don't have to be the same mom and dad from the show. Yeah, so it could be just a mom and a dad. Right. But like it could be Tim the Toolman, Taylor, and June Cleaver. It's not going to be, but it could be, could theoretically. Be. Or, 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 right? <laughs> he cooked that one time on like the car motor. Yeah, yeah. Remember? It's delicious. I, I'll never forget that. Uh, then you've it got. It was delicious? <laughs> was it? It would look pretty good. It was pretty good. Probably had it at the lunch table. <laughs> and maybe a little bit of uh, like a little grease in there, a little oil. My. Quick story, totally off tangent.
tangent. I is, don't like what you're doing with your hand. It's like, you know, when you're a mechanic and it's you get... It's just too little amount of fingers. Either use the two, or but you're doing just... You're only moving one finger. It's like I'm playing with a booger? For the people who are listening to this and not watching, <laughs> Sorry. don't come watch. Don't watch. Is that a good plug for us? I think so. Don't watch. Just listen. <laughs> Go to the channel. You guys can like, subscribe, give us five stars, leave a comment, or go, go to Collider Podcast or the Collider TV talk feed, whatever you Thumbs need. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let us know what you want to talk about. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let us know what you want to talk about. What if? <laughs> that was really good. Thanks, I'm not really a big musical guy, but woo Woo! Okay. I'm going to make you do a musical episode on here. <laughs> We're going to have Listen, to sing the whole thing. Here's the thing. I may hate musicals, but I can sing the shit out of anything. I bet. Okay? I bet. I'm just a little scared because you know what happens when I rap on this show. It's not good. Not good. I can't let we you. We have to cut things out. We've um, we've been over this. Yeah. Is I can't let you freestyle much as far as rapping goes because your brain gets ahead of your words. Oh, yeah. And then your words can't catch up to your brains. And then before you know it, we get kicked off the podcast network. And the earth. Yeah, we're done. We're done on that. I have to go run a convenience store in Omaha, Nebraska, and you're currently a, uh, a ski instructor well, in Nebraska's Vail, Colorado. Nebraska's on the earth. I it's meant more like Mars. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was just talking about the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I really feel like I, the moon would be better for me. Ooh, Big so I've heard guy. from you. Yeah. Cricket, cricket. Oh, yikes. Okay, so we've got a TV mom and dad. Yep. We've got one reality star, one TV kid, one villain. One current star of TV and one former star of TV not on TV anymore or like from a show that's no longer airing. And. And the location where we're no, eating. No, no. And the cook. Oh, sorry. sorry. And chef. who cooks. And the chef. The chef. So it doesn't. Does it have to be an actual TV chef? Okay, or... so I was thinking about this. It's like, is it Gordon Ramsay or is it Monica? Right. Like, I don't know yet. We're going to have to talk about it. Okay. Okay. You know, we're going to really have to figure that one out. Uh, we also didn't put a bartender on here, and I don't know about your Thanksgivings, but that's very key to have uh, somebody. See, our Thanksgiving is, my dad's like, B-Y-O-B. Hey, it's just make your own drinks. Yeah, I'm just wondering if we want to consider in, in one of these people, like our reality star or our villain, like somebody who'd pour a mean Cosmo or something. It's just something to throw out okay. there. Just putting it out Maybe there. Maybe some mold wine or a... Of these, what do you think is going to be the hardest to do? Because I feel like kid is going to be brutal. Yeah, kid could be tough. But I think I've got a good idea who I want the kid to be. Okay, all right. Where do we want to start? Let's start with who cooks because that's cooks? the most it's important. A, it's a big deal. Okay. All right. So if we go the character route. Mm-hmm. It could be Monica. Okay. She makes a mean Thanksgiving every single year. Sure. We see it. Uh, it could be like a June Cleaver, like the greatest mom, it, it probably really chef could ever. Be. Yeah. Right? It could I be. Agree. It could also be a Rachel Ray because she seems like something that she, she would be awesome. A Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart would be really cool too. And if she's joining the conversation, I got questions. Okay. She's got stories. I know. Snoop Dogg, jail, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but especially Snoop Dogg. Who could have maybe the most uh, character at the table? An Emerald Lagasse, pal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, or you could have maybe like an Andrew Zimmer, Bizarre Foods kind of a thing. Is he a chef? Or one of the chef's table people, like a Nancy Silverton from Moza. Or like an Emerald Lagasse would bring that wow. that southern charm. So it would be like a spicy turkey with all those southern fixins, collard I think I'm greens. I'm still stuck on Rachel Ray. I don't know if I've moved past it. You like Rachel Ray that much, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well, it, you just said it, and it felt Thanksgiving y. Like she's not going to give me that skinny girl diet. No. And a lot of these other, like, if we're going with some of our European, some of these, like, really light diet people. I know we don't want the racist or the racism, but uh, what's her name? Butter low. La butter low. I have to say, I don't know what you're talking Paula about. Paula Dean? Oh, La, La butter low. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good food, yeah. but I don't know if I can deal with her at our table. No, yeah, I'm with you on that one. Mm. I, I, I don't think we can look past the racism, so Paula Dean is out. She's out officially. Do you like a Giada De Laurentiis or the Barefoot Contessa? I love a Giada De Laurentiis. Okay. I really do. I don't, I don't think that my – well, I mean, my family's not there, so – but Giada De Laurentiis has always been my celebrity crush. So we can invite – she could be our chef. Giada? She nah. does – She does a. Giada does a little skinny girl thing, though. Mm -hmm. So that's tough. Okay, Giada's gone. Okay, Giada – wow, just so like Giada's that. Giada's out. Brutal. All right, if, so Rachel Ray is your pick? I think maybe – of the ones There's you said so far. There's something beautifully down home about Martha Stewart. Yeah, I'm, I'm in on that too. 
And Martha Stewart seasoned. She's had a lot of Thanksgivings. Yeah. She definitely knows what to do. She's past the point where she needs to try new things. She's just like, I know what I'm going to give you for Thanksgiving. And she could probably really make a nice home design for the table. That's what I'm saying. Maybe the centerpieces. You the just setup. changed my mind. I think I'm Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go Martha Stewart, too. All right. We so go we're Martha great. Stewart. Martha yep. Stewart. Done. What do we call her? Uh, Stu? Mm, I don't know if she likes that. <laughs> Stewie? Like Marty in, Stu? Inmate 2479. <laughs> <laughs> She's not into it. Not into not it. Not it. Okay, next. Do we do TV mom or TV dad or do we both? Yeah, I think we do TV mom or dad. And and it's a real possibility that we mom and dad are from the same place. It could be. But also maybe not. Okay. Did you ever have a TV mom or dad that you wished was your mom or dad? I don't know. I love my parents a lot. I have a really amazing set of parents. I love my mom and my dad. Well, don't make it mean. I'm not saying instead of your parents. I'm just saying where you like, oh, those parents rock. Right. Yes. But I can't use them because it was Claire and uh, Heathcliff Huxtable. So of the Cosby show. So I really can't we, use those. Well, we could use Claire. Yeah. We could use Mrs. Huxtable. She's rad. She is awesome. She's really cool. She definitely makes a top list for me. Now, here's the thing. My favorite Christmas movie of all time, which I start watching the day after Thanksgiving, is Die Hard. Yes, I know. Okay. And who is one of the stars of Die Hard? Sergeant Al Powell, played by Reginald Vell Johnson. Uh -huh. And where was Reginald Vell Johnson, a TV dad? That's right, Family Matters. And what episodes yep, yep. did they always featured a lot of things that happened in the kitchen? And Mrs. Uh, who, what was their last name in Family Matters? Laura oh, Winslow. Carl Winslow. Wow. The second you asked me, I couldn't think of it. That's so weird how that happened. So I think her name was Harriet Winslow, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just look that up real mm -hmm, quick. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the episode when I think that they were cooking her? She had a recipe for some sort of pastry that she was amazing with. I can't remember specific episodes of that show right now. Okay. But it looks so, so good. Okay. So you want, yeah, but do you want to base this? Oh, well, she's not cooking. She's not cooking. Yeah, so. She, and she always was very funny, very sassy. She always had, like, kind of something to say uh, that was Harriet Winslow. I was correct. Man, I'm good at my Family Matters trivia. She was a great mom. She loved Steve Urkel. She was very fun. And I always was I'm like. okay on it. Well, let's take the other moms. Okay. What were the other, that type of shows? Well, there were Corey's mom in Boy Meets World. Yeah. Right. So Mrs. Matthews. Skyler in Breaking Bad. <laughs> no. Okay. That's a hard. Carmela hard Soprano. No. Carmela. She was always cooking something but we good. Don't, it's not a cook, though. We just true. need to, just a we mom. We just need a mom. They don't need to be a good mom. Do you think that Carmela would have made it awkward? She was kind of like tough I just feel on like people? It's kind of going to be about her. And when it's not, she's going to. Mm, mm. Yeah. She's going to jab like, Meadow, why haven't you settled down? Meadow's AJ, not... why aren't you doing better yeah. in school? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I feel like she's like, Josh, you're not successful in your career yet. And I'm like, Carmela, shut up. All right, so Carmela's out. Uh, I'm trying to think of obscure people like like um, Claire from Lost who ends up getting pregnant on the island. <laughs> she's a mom. She is a mom. That's who, a, it's a... Who, are the, who are the other moms? Let me, uh, I'm going to look, look up. Look up best TV moms. Okay. And uh, then also... Why don't you look up best TV dads? Oh, I like what you're doing here. Although I was already thinking maybe of going full house for TV dad. He was... D Danny Tanner. He's favorite. really good. Ooh, Lorelai Gilmore? Oh, 100%. Claire Dunphy? No, no we have... Oh, Claire Dunphy's really good too, but Lorelai... Carol Brady? I think we have to go Lorelai. She's so good. No, Claire... Oh, these are all good. Um, Carol. That's Florence Henderson? Yeah. Wow, and then we're bringing her back from the dead, too. She's I also mean, very nice. She's awesome. Lorelai Gilmore. I love uh, that one. Me, too. I'm a huge fan. Tammy Taylor, Connie Britton, Friday Night Lights. Oh, she's amazing. Claire Huxtable. Uh, we could just do Eric and Tammy. We could do the Taylors. See, I don't know. Sometimes Coach Taylor would be a little too intense at the Thanksgiving dinner. Which of those that are you leaning towards that you just said? Carol Lambert, Suzanne Summers, Step by Step. Great mom. But mm, that's basically ripping that off. I don't think it should be the most entertaining Peg Bundy? Thanksgiving guest. Peg Bundy? Estelle Costanza? Uh, Is that too much? I Is think, it too much? I, I liked, you named like five at the beginning. Go back. Okay. Go back. Well, there's Becky Kasopoulos from, she's, Jesse Kasopoulos is, uh, you know, 
It's just, her, no. Her, her, you know, care, uh, da, 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 let's oh, see. Oh, and I'm looking at dads now, Michael Bluth. Ooh. All right. L- let's, listen, have. I think we both hit it on the head when we said Lorelai Gilmore. I, I love Lorelai. Okay. All right. Lorelai's our mom. And I will say, my mom loves Gilmore Girls, and I always wish that my mom was kind of like as cool as Lorelai Gilmore. She was really cool, and she's a great conversationalist. And Very she's fast talking. And fun. Yeah. Okay. For dads, I'll give you this list right now. Okay. Eric Taylor, Homer Simpson, no. Mike Brady, okay. Frank Costanza. Uh, Frank Costanza did invent Festivus. That's for the rest of us. Yeah. Peter Griffin, Danny Tanner, Michael Bluth, Al Bundy, Archie Bunker, again with the racist. No, nah, I can't just go not, that. not yeah. into it. If we were doing hypothetical racist TV dinners, I think we could fill this cast out pretty quick. Uh, Ward Cleaver, Tony Soprano. Yeah. Dan Connor. He's had to deal with a lot. But he really has. <laughs> he really has. We, sh- we could get some stories from him. We sure could. So what do we think? Mm-hmm. I th- honestly, is Danny Tanner like the greatest TV dad of all time? I mean, wow. I know Ward Cleaver. Wait, wait. I didn't even think of him as a dad, but he totally is a dad. And this is exactly who we should probably invite because conversation. Donald Glover from Atlanta. He is a dad. Earn marks. That could kind of be amazing. <sighs> Man. How do we not invite Donald Glover to our table? I know, but he plays Earn, and Earn is like a little more downtrodden I'm, kind I know, of. That's like, true, but he. Yeah, that's true. So you almost want to invite his cousin more. Yeah. But he's not a dad. You almost want to invite Paper Boy. That's, what a, that's his cousin. No, that is his cousin. I was thinking like Keith Stanfield is his cousin, a.k.a. Wal- Darius, but no. Walter White, but like, is he going to get everybody on meth? <laughs> it's a legit not, concern. Not ideal. Dessert is blue meth. Mm, George Jefferson. Okay. That would be cool. I don't know. Michael Bluth. That's a hard one to beat. Reginald Val Johnson. Corey's dad in in, uh, in Boy Meets World is also good. Tim the Toolman Taylor, a great dad. I would rather have uh, Mr. Feeney as our non-current than Corey's dad. Okay. Okay. You know, right. you get what I'm, you smell when I'm All stepping right, so in. If Danny I'm go- Tanner's really good. Ooh, Philip Banks. Oh, Uncle Phil. Yeah. Uncle Phil, Fresh Prince man. That's kind of good. As soon as you said the name, I was sold with Uncle Phil. You were? Yeah. Do we go Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil? I'm into, ooh, Ned Stark. We'd also bring him back from the dead. That's a good one, Ned Stark is so dire. Uh, He's not fun at dinner. No, he'd bring his sword, the chain mail. I think we go Phil Banks. Phil Banks. We did it. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. But he's our dad, so we have to call him Phil. Daddy Phil. Daddy Phil. But his name's Uncle Phil. Daddy Phil. Okay. Ooh, Daddy Phil. <laughs> All right, next up, we reality have stars. A reality star. Now, here's the deal with this: you can go reality star like Guy uh, Fieri, or you could go like I think we do Paris Hilton. trashy reality okay, star kind okay. of a thing because Guy Fieri actually has a skill. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the other reality stars, but he's just, a reality star. He is, but they don't really have skills per se. He's a chef. That's how he got famous. The other reality, and he's not our chef. No, he's not our chef. He didn't even come up. No, I, I don't think we we go f- Guy Fieri. No, I mean, I'm so set on my. I mean, if it was a summer barbecue, sure, maybe fine. Guy Guy Fieri. Yeah. But Thanksgiving. So reality star. Here's immediately where my mind went. Okay. Kardashians, mm-hmm. mm, Jersey Shore. Ooh. I'm not a big housewife gal. I don't really watch any. So, so I, I, I don't. Know who to I don't pick. need any of them. Okay. Uh, so I'm. That I'm, was inappropriate. I just wiped my nose on air. You're welcome. Well. Because I forget that we're not going back and forth. It's just the two it's shot just of the us, two right? Shot. Yeah, so yeah. they saw for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. They saw it. Guys, my allergies are affected. There's wildfires in California. and Leave them alone. They, they hurt my nose. So okay. wh- where are you feeling with this reality star? See, my brain immediately goes to the reality shows that shaped my childhood. So real world. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but real world, which like, standout real world person are you going to name? Maybe Trishel from Vegas. <laughs> Trishel has not been mentioned in 15 years. I know. I, I think she heard her name, and she's a new co-host <laughs> with us. It's Josh, Trishel, and Roxy. I, wow, she, uh, I mean, there Trishel's was Puck, name goes of course. Before mine? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Duh. But after yours. <laughs> oh. It's fine. I went around the table. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> who said who, who said that? That Trishel was over there. I'm sorry. It's kind of a bummer that I got bumped back quickly. <laughs> Now I know where I stand. I'm really sorry. That was really rude, and I apologize. It's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> Roxy. I'm a, little, I'm a little sensitive about Trishel. <laughs> 
I love the real world. I love the challenge. So there's a lot of them. But I don't know if any of them are as iconic or have as good stories as, like, the situation. Yeah. Who's been incarcerated. He is fresh out of jail. And he eats more than anybody. Uh-huh. I don't know if that's a pro or a con. Like, like you know, Vinny, Vinny is the most plain reality star ever. I don't understand how Vinny is. Literally of all time. I do like Polly D a lot. I love Polly D. He's a good dude. I like that we're both trending towards Jersey Shore. Because mm-hmm. I think Jersey Shore is the best reality show. And I'll say it right now. Best reality show of all time. It's definitely top three. Yeah. I, it might be the best. It, there's never been anything like it. No. And there never will be. No. Nope. But then also, do we go back to like Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, like no, because Simple Life? Okay. I, I'm good to stay on Jersey Shore. Yeah. Pauly D would be my pick as well. Pauly D? Because I think he's the coolest. And by the way, he can tune. And, yeah, I mean, after dinner, we'll have a little Thanksgiving dance party, DJ Polly D. Maybe before. <laughs> I'll be a little full. I'll sit you, there after dinner bobbing the head. You got to work it a little bit. Maybe you play some slow jams, and then we digest. We are take a little nap. Are you a dancer? Nap. I feel like you are. Am I a good dancer? This is a, well, you just told me that I'm going third on the list, so don't act offended. I'm a good dancer, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Trishel called me the greatest dancer of 2001. When was so, that? 1999. Mm. When was Real World Las Vegas? <laughs> yep, right around. Right that. there, right? Okay, so we're saying Pauly D. I love that idea. Although, you know, here's the thing. We could be like, how's the situation? Oh, he's out of jail, yada, yada, yada. But Pauly D is, is a real, he's the real MVP of that show as far as the guys go. What are Uncle Phil and Pauly D going to discuss? <laughs> oh, 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 man. Talk about a, and Uncle Phil, unfortunately, the actor passed away. So we have to bring him back. Well, but that's, that's cool. That's great. We love to bring him back. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it back. Uncle Phil and Pauly D, would, uh, how great would it be if Uncle Phil and Pauly D, as far as the table goes, became best friends at the end of this? Like they, Those are the two unexpected people that really hit it off. Well, Uncle Phil's bald. Pauly D has vertical hair. Pauly Uncle D, Phil's a judge. Pauly D is kind of like the Italian Will Smith at the time. So he might just accept him and be like, oh, man, another. Somebody frame that. Cross stitches. Um, Polly D is the yeah. Fresh Prince of our time. Kinda. Uh, Kinda. Interesting. I like that call, Roxy. What do we do about this next one? Okay, one kid. So recently, I know we've talked about the fact that we don't hate the kids from Ozark. We don't. So that's nice. We're we're vetoing the kids from Homeland. Yeah, they're the worst. They're the just that Dana or whatever her name. Uh, you can just know. She but, wore the same pair of boots for two full seasons. What about kid shows? I don't really watch any, Mm-mm. but you know, like, do we like go a with a bunked or something? I don't even know uh, what you just said. Uh, my niece and nephew watch a show called Bunked. It's like Descendants, but it's more of a TV movie. I mean, we gotta know, we gotta know what we know. So it'd be like a kid from Salute Your Shorts, yeah. or would it be? Well, you know, uh, what age does it stop? Because we could go with Boy Meets World, like I think, a little Corey I or think, a little Topanga, but I don't know. Yeah, but I think like kids stops at about thirteen, right? And when you become yeah, a teenager, they grew up. They got uh, what season? You know, <coughs> right, right. So Rugrats, young, young Corey, Doug. Doug, funny. Okay, are we allowed to invite animated people? I, well, why not? I think, why, why not? You're right. You're right. You're right. It's our party. We can do what we Bart want Simpson. to. Bart Simpson. Bart. Lisa. Yeah, but she does that whole vegetarian thing. Oh, that's yeah. annoying at Thanksgiving. She'd probably guilt us into yeah, yeah. feeling bad it's about what we I eat. love Lisa, but that's annoying. It's 100% annoying. you got to stop that stuff. <laughs> I think that, mm. I'm going to look best TV kids while you talk. Okay. Leaving See, a brainstorm to Josh Makuga. I like your call on Ozark because they are kind of kids, but I think the daughter's too old and the son is about the perfect age to be the. If the daughter is a little too old and snarky, she would be like, I don't want to be here. Right, right. Um, maybe Jonathan Taylor Thomas, the first couple seasons of Home Improvement. Yeah. He was pretty sweet. He was mm. kind of a cool kid, a little smart aleck. This is saying some of the best. Oh, Luke Dumphy. He would be great to Luke be Luke Dumphy would be good. Yeah, Punky Luke Brewster. Okay. Eric Cartman. No. No, and he would eat all the, the things. Worst. Wednesday yeah. Adams. Ah, a little dark. Add some darkness to it. To stay with Modern Family, Manny Delgado, ah. Sean Hunter, Stewie. Uh, Stewie's more of a baby and kind of creepy. Nobody really wants Stewie there. Well, Stewie's funny, but, but I don't think people want Stewie at their Thanksgiving, do they? I don't think so either. Yeah. Corey Matthews, Carlton, Eric Foreman. Huh. He's old. He is a little bit older. Mm, Will Smith, Michelle Tanner. Oh. She real cute. She is like a nine-year-old Michelle Tanner before she got all 
you know, like right around the time, uh, you know, the Olsen twins take the West kind of yeah. came out. Yeah. Michelle Tanner. Purple. Pretty, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Too, a little too annoying. Um, Darlene Connor. Nah. Too depressing. Stephanie Tanner. I go Michelle uh, over Stephanie. Yeah, Michelle's oh, the clear winner. What about even Stevens? Who, Lizzie McGuire from Even Stevens? No, that Lizzie McGuire is from Lizzie McGuire. Oh. Who's on Even Stevens? Shia LaBeouf. Oh, right, 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 right. My, my, Louis my, Steven. My. Yeah. Uh, he's crazy, but I don't mind Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire, pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. I think Luke would be the funniest so far. Rudy Huxtable. Oh. She's so effing cute. What about Little Raven Simone when she was first on The Cosby Show? She was adorable. Yeah. So young Keisha Knight Pulliam as Rudy or Raven Simone in the later seasons of The Cosby Show. Hmm. We could also do Lily from Modern Family because she makes really, really like mean jokes at everybody and it's kind of funny. I feel like now because she's a Malcolm. little bit older, Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, remember, did you ever watch Arnold the, Jackson. The Middle? Did you ever watch The Middle? The no. kid that plays Brick? He's actually pretty funny. Mm-mm. I can't stand... Um, oh, this is he just came up on this list. Brick Heck. Yeah, Brick Heck. Oh, I know him. He is funny. He is funny. I feel like as Lily's gotten older on the show on Modern Family, they obviously have taken. I mean, she she has never had really a character arc. She or was anything my least favorite show. character at first, but now I just love that they lean into. She's just a b i t c h. Oh yeah, and she's she's just not a very good little actress. Unfortunately, I kind of feel bad for her. So there's no way she could ever really carry a storyline. Oh, Olivia um, from Cosby Show. Uh huh. Wow, there's so many. Do we go with somebody cute or somebody like? I think fun, we go with a cute kid. kid. I think we okay. We just want a cute kid. Young, like a young Luke Dumphy or a young Rudy Huxtable. Those would be my two picks. Mm. You're not a fan. No, I love both of them. I just don't know where to go. Luke is not a cute kid. Uh-huh. He's gonna like be bring the funny there. <laughs> sure. Rudy's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So maybe we go Rudy. Rudy. Uh, yeah. We go adorable over funny. I think because I want to talk to the adults and she'll, <laughs> she won't be as annoying. She'll like ask to be excused from the table pretty early. Yeah. Okay. Rudy Huxtable. One villain. We have a villain to bring now to the table. And what counts as a villain? Is Tony Soprano a villain? Is Walter White a villain? Uh, I think so. But they can also be. Did you say I think so or I don't think no, so? No, I think so. I think that you could have, because our, our last three, just to give to tease it, we have one villain, one current star of a show, and one sh- star of a show that's not on TV. Is Newman a villain? Newman is most definitely a villain. Newman could be awesome. Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. Ben Linus. Were you a lost guy or no? Uh, yes. Ben Linus is fine. I don't know. He's he Negan. You can't bring Negan to the table, <laughs> well, I don't think. Okay, I agree with you. Because you'd just agree. be, <laughs> you bring out the turkey and just whack it with Lucille. Wiley Coyote. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Burns would, nah, I can't. Mr. Burns is really good. Ramsey Bolton. Mm-mm. No. Gus Fring. You know what? Gus Fring would bring a lot of uh, Los Pollos Hermanos, which always look delicious. No, we're not doing that for our Thanksgiving. Nina <laughs> Myers, did you watch 24 ever? She was, yes. she was crazy. She was a little crazy. She was crazy. What about... Kingpin? It's, it's, it's just I not know enjoyable. What he was thinking. I just wouldn't know what was going on. Joffrey, we're not bringing him. No. Do we kind of want to bring Mr. Burns? I mean, he's probably the most innocent of all the villains. Maybe he'd pay for it. He might. but He, he, he was cheap, but would, he was rich. Would he come without Smithers, and would Smithers be our servant? Could Smithers... Does Smithers count as a number, though? No, because Smithers not allowed to sit at the table. Right. Then, yeah. Mr. Burns. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Mr. Burns. Do you remember the episode of The Simpsons when Homer is the f- uh, food critic and Mr. Burns collapses under the own the weight of his own weight in his legs? Yeah. It's oh, an yeah. amazing episode. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have one current star of a television show, and we have one star not on TV. What are your favorite shows that are on right now? Okay. So, obviously, I love and my my thought is marvelous mrs mazel mrs mazel would be my pick i think i don't think we need to discuss it okay so mrs. Yeah, mazel. mrs mazel yeah that's so good yeah uh because she's, she's my the everything. perfect yeah ha- yes perfect house guest she'd be sweet she'd be funny yeah she'd be interested to listen and learn and whatever yeah yeah. the, other, the only other person i could throw in here that i would love is khaleesi she brings dragons no it's too much attention on her <laughs> 
it's way too much attention on it. Okay. No Marty Bird uh, from, no. I think he's too dire. No, I no. I said that twice now. The only now. person I was thinking about are some of the characters from The Good Place, because that show is so good. Ooh, Kristen Bell in The Good yeah. Place, hysterical. Ted Danson in The Good Ted, Place, really hysterical. Funny. Really funny. Man, that's They're actually really pretty good. dang good. Or we could try to bring like Eleven from Stranger Things. Nah, this, too it much. Got too dark. Yeah, we're having too a dark. light Thanksgiving. Yeah, a light Thanksgiving. All right. Mrs. Maisel is the ultimate. I think she's amazing. She brings a casserole for sure. If it's a potluck, even though she doesn't have to cook, she's like, "Hey, we got to cook." Oh, she's like, "I'm casserole. still going to bring yeah, a she casserole." She still brings it. Totally. I want to try that casserole. Too. Me too. It seems it's like it does magic. Yeah. I know. Stand up casserole. What do we do for? Finally. <laughs> what do we do for our non current? <laughs> All right. Clearly, we all know what I'm going to suggest. It's something from Seinfeld. Yeah, it's Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> okay, because you know, but because you that know, I'm he's going to suggest Chandler. So yeah, Chandler. What are we going to do with this? <laughs> okay. <sighs> They're both comedians. Chandler, not by profession, Just, but yeah, by on profession. the on the show. It, but ho- hold on, is I think that because Chandler hates Thanksgiving. That's true. That's true. That Chandler does hate Thanksgiving. He might not be the best guest. That's true. But he may have the best one-liners. So, like, imagine a conversation between Uncle Phil and Polly D and Chandler zings in a one-liner. Yeah, like, but I also, don't mind that he hates Thanksgiving as long as he shows up. Okay. Jerry's... What about, again, another conversation. So let's just say Martha Stewart and Rudy Huxtable are going back and forth about how Rudy doesn't like certain things and Martha's whatever. And then Jerry Seinfeld's like, what's the deal with cranberry sauce? Why does it have rings around it when it comes in a can? Let me tell you what I'm worried about with Jerry, though. Okay. I- I'm I'm kind of leaning towards him, but I'm a little worried that is Mrs. Maisel going to take too many tips from Jerry? Oh, because she's learning. Yeah. And or are they just going to stay at the end of the table? Uh, yeah. And, not and she's going to do her set and she's going to be like, what's the deal with women not being able to tell jokes? <laughs> and everybody in the 50s or wherever, whatever time she's in, is going to be Late like, 50s, yeah. going to be like, what? What's <laughs> the deal with that? <laughs> Sorry, what? How's that now? <laughs> so she's just doing a Seinfeld impression the whole time? I don't know. Okay. I think we could get around that, though. Let's not put them next to each other. No. So you put Seinfeld at one end of the table, Mrs. Maisel at the other. Yeah, having two comedians, different ends of the table. Now, what about, oh, shoot, we could have thrown, I mean, I was going to say Larry David in, in uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, but that show's still on TV. And then we'd have to get rid of Mrs. Maisel. No. No. It's not we got, happening. No, you're right. Okay. Let me th- let's me. let think of some, some Tony Soprano, Walter White, mm-hmm. a... Um, any of the other friends? Kate from no. Lost. Kate from Lost. She's a cool Solid. Uh, what them other best shows of all time? Uh, I don't know if we're one. Oh, if we're going with the drinks, anybody from Cheers? Yeah. Norm from Cheers, just hanging out. Sam Malone from Cheers. Doctor Fraser Crane. They're all kind of annoying. Do we go with anybody from It's Always Sunny? Oh, it's still on. Uh, Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny. But it's still Charlie. On. It is on. Son of a. Son of a Charlie. Day man, oh, <gasps> our show is still on TV. Oh, <gasps> so you cannot pick us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> son of, uh. they're so good. Okay, what other? What other? We could do Thirty Rock. We could do The Office. Liz Lemon. We could do yeah. Liz Lemon would be good too. Michael Scott. Leslie Nope. Leslie Nope. Ron Swanson. I feel like Leslie Nope. I feel like Leslie Nope because she's going to do everything to make sure everybody else's time is great. And Ron Swanson's going to sit and talk to nobody and just admire the wood on the table. Is Leslie Nope our choice? Yes. You don't seem to love it. No, I do. I actually absolutely <laughs> love it. It's the fires. Leslie Nope. <laughs> oh, man. I love this dinner table yeah, me a too. lot. I think this is fantastic. Me too. Okay. So, Wait, before we go over it, do we yeah. do we say where we are? Oh, a location. Yeah. Are we in the uh, the throne room in Game of Thrones? Mm. Are we in Dragonstone, so where that haunting. big table? Are we? Uh, Give me a couple more. Uh, let's see. Putting let's the see. Pressure on. Are we at the dinner table in the Sopranos house in New Jersey? Are yeah, we? Yeah, I would dig that. Right. Um, are we in the apartment in Friends? 
Is that big enough for 10 people? Do they take the leaves yeah, out of the table? Yeah, it's definitely big enough for 10 people because you know the episode where... Brad Pitt shows yeah, up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was going to say. There's a, I mean... Same page. There's not 10 of them, but we could fit more. Uh, I think Sopranos is your best one yet. Okay. I'm just wondering, or are we... Like, is this an outdoor situation? The dinner at the nannies? Is, doesn't the nanny have the like nanny? a nice... Yeah. A nice dinner table? And That's out- not hers. She's the nanny, but yeah. An outdoor situation. Did you ever see the show October Road with Brian Greenberg and Jeff Stoltz? No. They always were eating meals outside mm. or at like a bar. Uh, the family good, table at 7th Heaven. What about Breaking Bad, the outdoor? They have the outdoor table in the pilot. Remember, he tells everybody that he's got cancer and they're sitting outdoors. Oh, at that party. Yeah. Nice, it's nice to have like a little outdoor meal, maybe. Outdoor, uh, the the place in Breaking Bad where he broke it down. Um, I could have described it more sensitively, but it's just how it came out. <laughs> Is there like a famous restaurant? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, could we have it at, at Sein- Cheers? The diner at Seinfeld. The diner at Seinfeld. We like take over the diner. Cheers? The Max and Saved by the Bell. You know what would be cool about Cheers? Is that you could kind of, if you sat around the bar, you could kind of see everybody. You sure could. And you have the ability to go behind the bar and make whatever drink you want and have beer on tap. Do we have it at Cheers? But would you have to shout across the bar like, pass the cranberry. But it would just come down. Yeah. It's a U bar. You can talk to people across it. And it's corner. Kind of into it. Because, listen, my family's had Christmas at a bar every year for the last 12 years. My uncle owns a bar in Pittsburgh. It's amazing. It's a great place Christmas to have a meal. I do at a bar every year, too, but I'm Jewish, so... <laughs> A different kind of Christmas. Different kind of Christmas. I mean, I, lo- I love a holiday at a bar. It's amazing. Everybody has a blast. There's nothing bad can happen in a holiday at a bar. <laughs> I mean, it could, but. <laughs> mm, with a kid. Oh, yeah, we've got a kid. We do, but she can run around, play like the mega touch screen. Maybe there's a dartboard somewhere. She's young enough. She's not trying to drink. Correct. If we had picked Luke, we would have had a problem. Right. Yeah, I think we're good with the cheers bar. Cheers. All right. So this is like mash. Right, so I'm a doctor yeah. in a Ferrari, a with mansion, two kids. apartment. Right, okay. So our dinner, our Thanksgiving dinner, is at Cheers in Boston. It's prepared and cooked by Martha Stewart. Uh, our mom is Lorelai Gilmore. Our father is Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Daddy Phil. Daddy Phil. Our reality star spinning the hot tunes, bringing the hair gel. Who is it? Polly D. That's correct. Our child there enjoying a, a lovely family dinner is? Rudy Huxtable. Our villain is the one and only Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. Ooh, our good voice. Mr. Burns. Yep. Our current TV star who we're both in love with, Head Over Heels. She's marvelous. She's the Mrs. Maisel. Yeah. She brings a casserole even though she doesn't need to. And she'd probably do a little stand-up entertainment after Polly D is done spinning the tunes. After we've had a few martinis, we're all ready to giggle. And then finally, the star not currently on a show, which will bring us all together. Really, she brings the whole room together. Is it a yes? It's a yes. It's a nope. It's a nope. <laughs> Leslie, nope. I <laughs> like this I list. You didn't get well, I got it. It's, it's a, a yes nope. for nope. It's a yes for nope. <laughs> yes on nope. Uh, I like this table. What do you think? I'm in. You're in. So good. I'm, I believe the food's going to be good. The decor is going to be good. I think the drinks are going to be flowing. I'm, I'm liking the conversation. Yeah, I'm in. He's in. She's in. We're all in. Who's he? I'm she. I'm he. You're she. What about our our third host? Us. She in? Trishel? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm in. Josh, Trishel, and Roxy. <laughs> in what I'm world? I'm never going to live that one down. Son of a... Ah, all right. That's hypothetical questions with Josh and Roxy. Roxy, where can the good people find you? Yeah. Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. And you guys can check her on Collider Live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right here on Collider Video. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Collider TV Talk. That airs on Friday. This Friday, Emma Fife will be in studio. Whoa. We still need to get Roxy to come in for a full TV talk show. She's a very busy woman. That's why I'm very ask. lucky to have her on hypothetical questions. I've asked. We'll just, we just got to figure it out. Trishel. Whatever, Trishel. Shut it. I'm Josh McCoy. At Josh Makuga. You guys can see me all over here on Collider, Collider Live, Collider Sports, Collider TV Talk, The Josh Makuga Show on YouTube, WGN Movies for America, and The Afternoons with Josh and Ken. Thank you guys so much for walks, uh, for waxing. That's like roxing. It's roxing. Josh and Rox. Josh and Rox. Thanks for joxing. Thanks for joxing. We'll see you next time. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Mm-hmm.